I came across this interesting indicator on MT5 and I want to share it with you guys today so that you can scalp VIX of MT5 successfully. And please watch towards the end of the video because I am giving away my VIX of MT5 highly accurate strategy book plus access to my VIP group. So make sure you watch towards the end of the video to find out how you can get it. Welcome to Null Point Trading. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for choosing us. Let's get down into it. So this indicator is called envelopes. Envelopes. So the parameters, your period is 14, shift is zero, deviation 0 0.100. The method, it's simple. Okay. I know usually we use um, exponential in everything, but we are going to use simple. Okay, we're going to use simple. And in the rest of the parameters, you apply to the close. You can choose whatever color you want. I don't care. <laughs> Let's get down into it. So it's quite very interesting. Let's just check what happened. And then we are going to apply it live. So you can see here. Okay, so if you guys know... If you watch my videos i just like to train so what i've noticed about this indicator is that it's very 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 sensitive to market trend very sensitive to the trend if you can see here price i arrived here and literally it was able to spot that we are now changing your direction so you can use it to scalp and you can tell me what you think so basically the idea is that it's quite very sensitive to the market structure like i say so you're going to use that to your advantage so there it is so it went below the the indicator when it comes back to it so you basically trade sort of like a retest of this envelope okay you trade the retest of this envelope so as you can see here came back look at that went all the way down look at that rejection look at that and it continues to go all the way down so right now as i'm talking to you let's wait and see if it's gonna come back but we're waiting for it to come back to retest it and it won't waste your time if it's ready to change directions it's just gonna do that really so as you can see here as well it happened quite very nicely here it didn't even give you some false signals it just literally changed direction and look at that and then 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 look at that interesting break and we are at the envelopes right now so it's just gonna wait how it's gonna close so another thing i want you guys to understand is there is no crossover because usually when you have maybe like two moving averages before it changes direction it's going to cross over so i like this one because you want to have those false crossovers you know now you are buying now you think you're selling because of this multiple crossovers um that are occurring so it's not like that and it's very perfect for trending markets as you can see so also here it went below it came back gave us that rejection it went all the way down kept on retesting kept on retesting and then it kept on respecting it and as you can see also there as well so it's quite very nice um to be honest with you and then continue to do that as you can see it continue to respect um the, the price okay so this one right here um as you can see it went below also there was no cruise over if you can see properly um and then it came here gave us that sort of engulfing went all the way down came back gave us this peanut bar but it was gonna take you out for a less all right so remember trading is a business you have to pay some expenses okay so that's it if you look at it like that you're gonna be okay but when you want to make win 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 without anyway so um that's exactly what happened and then look at this sensitivity here that i want to talk about so it gave you this one you're gonna put your stop loss just there fine but it went above what happened came back engulfed went all the way up 
you see how sensitive sensitive it is if you're using maybe the usual moving averages you know it's gonna cross over here and then now you've missed all of that you know so i like how sensitive it is all right so please do try it out and please do tell me what you think if you think i'm just wasting your time we need two indicators in order for us to successfully apply the scalping strategy so you're gonna go to your indicators on your phone the first one we are going to add is your bollinger band make sure that the parameters are like this okay make sure that uh, the period is 20 and the deviation is 2.000 and the shift is zero and make sure that you apply it to your close this is really your own preference which color you want it and the pixel okay so that's the first indicator we are going to add the second indicator we are going to add on the main chart as your stochastic oscillator okay so you need to make sure that your period here the first one remains as it is it's your 14 okay others like to put it on a 60 just check it out yourself and see which one works best and then the second value should be a three and the following one should be a three as well and make sure everything else remains like that and our levels which are going to give us signals it should be your 20 and your 80 all right done and dusted these are our two moving averages all right so how do you make this work number one this is called a stochastic oscillator all right so as you can see here we have this 20 level and we also have this 80 level so if this lines these two lines if they are above this area we say that price is overbought and if something is overbought then we should start selling it okay so once price gets here on this level you should be ready to start selling okay and the same is true the side if it's below your 20 it's oversold and you should be ready to go all the way up with it okay so make sure that it sort of really gets in the area as opposed to it just you know touching it just make sure of that and then let's go to our bollinger bands so how bollinger bands work is that they act as your support and they act as your resistance so when price reaches the upper line for example of the bollinger band that's more like a resistance okay however you cannot trade this indicators individually it's gonna give you a lot of inaccurate signals so make sure that you combine them with something else let's discuss what we need exactly to see a buy so you wait not a buy an entry so you wait for price to be either overbought or oversold okay and then you also wait for price to reach the bollinger bands okay you're gonna wait for that and you don't just enter just because price is at the bollinger band or anything like that and this is what i mean here's a very clear example of what i mean look at this from here from this point price was literally above the 80 area so it was technically a selling signal but look at what happened price kept on going up and up and up and up and at the end it went down after giving us this candle so it's very important that you wait for confirmation on top of these indicators combined all right so let's just go back and see examples and what previous data uh, did let us start here on the 4th of January 2022 and let's see what would have happened okay so as you can see here price was literally over the 80 area and if you check 
here above sorry and if you check here above we are actually at the resistance of the balinga band there we go okay and then look at what happened after that so this was a cell signal we had a combination of an over what is this overbought oversold and over bought since it has to go down okay and overbought and it's also at the resistance area and look at what happened it went all the way down and in it going all the way down imagine you're gonna be in and out really so look at this it was oversold as well and look at what happened here and this proves what i said to you guys just because it's here it doesn't mean that you should automatically enter the trade you should wait for some sort of confirmation and that's what exactly happened and it went all the way up let's continue to apply even more examples there's another one price was literally over the 80 area and then it was here on our resistance and it went down with that huge candle there in your m5 here's another one here as you can see on the support of the Bollinger, it was also over the area. It went all the way up and it came back and was below the area as well, below your 20. So it was technically telling us that we want to buy and we had a confirmation here on what is acting as our support and it went all the way up. Let's do just a few more application of this. Um here's another beautiful one right here it is on this area which is acting as our resistance and here it's over the 80 area and it went all the way down so as you can see guys like i said please make sure that uh, your psychology is on point because all of this really is going to be useless if we do not get our psychology all you have to do quite very simple is to comment where you are watching us from you can comment as many times as you want you know who knows maybe the more you comment is the you know the higher chances comment as many times as you want tell us which country you're watching from and i'm going to announce the winner by the end of this week so my VIX 75 highly accurate strategy book is officially out and it's only retailing for $18. So make sure to get your copy today. The link to purchase is in the description box and it's regulated by PayHips so your payment is secured.